All right, this is a demo for our edge creation exercise. And our goal in the end is to create 10 edges. So this is the goal. Let's use a darker color, goal. We want to create 10 edges. Okay. That doesn't make any sense right now, but we'll make it make sense. So what we want to do is for every edge, we need two layers on top of the background. Um, and what I'm going to do is create a shape. It doesn't have to be square um, or rectangular but I'm going to use rectangles because that's really quite easy to demo. Um, I'm going to fill that with a color or a value. Um, when, if you're going to do color, um, what, you, what you do is if you have this color wheel adjustment, which is pretty common, if you stay inside a sub triangle right here, basically from the center of the triangle, left, right, and top to bottom, um, this will be relatively realistic in its color range. If you want to get expressive and crazy, you get outside of that and use the full triangle. There are different uh, appearances of the color wheel, but they all basically do the same thing. Um, so yeah, so let's say we take a middle value right in the center and move it sort of towards the center of the triangle a little bit. Um, we'll pick something like, um, like a red or red orange. And I'm going to use the bucket tool, paint bucket tool, the fill tool, and fill that. Then I am going to take the um, reselect the marquee tool, or the shape tool that I'm using. And then I'm actually going to make a bigger one. Okay. Not that much bigger. Maybe like that much bigger. Then I'm going to go up to layer two. Uh, I'm going to select a different color and a different value. I'll go lighter this time. And I'm going to bucket fill that. Okay. And then I'm going to do that on a different layer. So I have these two shapes on different layers. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take layer one. I'm going to need that color again. And I'm going to take a brush tool. And I have options of what I can do from here. I can take a standard hard round pressure opacity brush. And I can begin to work on this edge. And if I lose the exact triangle that's about or the, the exact sharp edge that's about what I want and what you'll notice here is this edge kind of softens I lose the distinction of that top edge which is more or less ideal and you'll notice that I get control over how that edge appears right the edge softens up I can fade that edge and I can fade the edge at different speeds. I can make it a quick fade, or I can make it a slow fade, just by kind of painting very lightly over that. Okay? Um, I'm going to make another version of this block and then do this a few times for this demo. On another layer. Okay. I'm going to duplicate this layer a couple times. Okay. Turn those off. Turn off layer. Turn off that layer. Okay, so we've got that edge and we're showing up on this layer. Now, another thing that I can do is I can pick various I can just pick various brushes and begin to play around with how hard or soft that edge is. So the two basic edge types we have are, are hard and soft edges. And you need both at, ver at different times, right? So I mean, when I want something defined, when I'm working on graphic painting, hard edge. When I'm doing like transitions, soft edge, okay? 
So there, I can do a hard and a soft edge. We'll do this again. But I have I have another method that I can do to kind of change the edge quality here, and that's to pick the eraser tool. And right now I have this crazy brush selected, which is fine. I'll I'll pick a different eraser brush um, that makes a little more sense. Um, let's try this one. I don't know what this, this brush does. So what I can do is I can take that shape and I can erase into that shape. And I can create an interesting edge by erasing into that shape. And leave bits of it there. I can change the change the shape a little bit. So now I've created a very different shape. The other thing that I can do is I can erase into that shape and change the opacity of the brush, right? So I can make that a 50% opacity brush. I can erase that hard edge completely. And then I can just work on creating an edge that I want. real subtle, which I think is, is really, really fun. Okay. I'll make another version in that same color. And I can erase again. Um, pick a different brush though. If I pick like a really simple brush, like that hard round pressure op opacity brush, um, kept the opacity up. What I could do is I could change the size of this a bunch and I could kind of erase into and actually kind of manually draw an edge that's pretty sophisticated by going at a different direction to the edge. Before I kind of just went along it and that was a little and that was a little boring, but I can cut into this edge. By going at oblique angles to that edge. And eventually I can create an interesting edge by just kind of going over that enough times, spending a little time with it making sure I get the edge quality that I want. So you could go about this method when you're painting like a tree and you want to get the sky showing through through a tree, um, through a tree, you know, by have, adding like little bits of dappled light through it, right? And this is really, really simple and really effective because I use a flat layer and an interesting edge and it looks like I'm doing more than I actually am. I'm doing the maximum amount of effect with the, the minimum amount of work. And any chance you get to do that is really great. Okay, so let's do this eraser method again. Okay, I'm just gonna keep bucket filling, keep adding layers. So I'm gonna choose another um, like fancy textured eraser. Um, let's, this one's interesting. What is that? Hey, that's, that's ridiculous and silly. Um, I don't like that one. Um, maybe this pattern would be interesting. Okay, this is interesting. So what I could do is I could start erasing with it at this size, and then I could go in and change the size, right? So that it's real small. And I wanna be sure and get rid of that harsh line so that it becomes all about this edge 
So it went from 330 to 66. So if I pick something like 150, I've got like three different sizes on. Things are interesting. So I can take the same brush, I can resize it, and I can kind of create a really interesting edge that way. Now, the reason that you do this on a separate layer with another edge is when I move it around, it takes on the quality of whatever is behind it. So if I need to add a layer in between these, right, and let's say that I'm creating a landscape and I need to add like a couple of bushes or trees in between here, when I go in there to bucket fill this, I get the benefit of having done the edge on that on that top layer and then I don't have to change anything about it to pick up the colors of the layer underneath. So we're combining a few a few op options here and um, this is one of the simplest most powerful tools. So what I want you to do is create 10 different edges and you can do that um, by creating 10 different um, combinations of these colors or or values or you can just layer them up all together. So potentially what you could do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these layers is you could create a bunch of different layers. You could take your marquee tool say well this is going to be edge number one and I'm going to make that absolute black. Okay. Um, or this will be the back layer, I guess. Let's see. Let's make this, let's make, so this is the bottom layer. Yeah, let's make that um, actually absolute white. So our, I'm working on a 10% gray background. We don't have to do that. Then I can come in on the next layer, um, change that. And I come in on the next layer. I can change that slightly. Come in on the next layer, change that. Come up to the next layer. Whoops. Change that. Come up to the next layer. Come up to the next layer. Change that. Boom. And you get the idea. So then what I can do is I can go in with um, with my eraser or whatever tool that I want and I can begin to create those interesting edges one right on top of the other on these color blocks or value blocks. You can use color or not, it doesn't matter. But I want you to just practice and go through and create um, A bunch of interesting edges that change the quality of each one of these shapes. Okay, so you can pick, you know, just any brush. Even if it's birds. And um, change your edge quality. Okay, so that's the project um, in a nutshell, just to get a quick basic exercise. So I recommend doing the eraser method. Um, you can also brush on top. It's really up to you.